Sometimes I think I have too much Blu-rays. Sometimes I think I have too much physical media. Sometimes it gets to the point where I feel like I have too much of everything. And then the time comes to downgrade. But what do we think about when we think about our physical media collections? We do it to compete with each other. We do it to compete for clout on the internet. We do it to compete for recognition. We do it to compete with each other. We don't do it to watch. We don't even open half of these. So why even have them? Why do we constantly ask ourselves, we must have the newest released. We must have the newest. We must have the best. But then we get to that point and we have the best and then it's never enough. Why do we constantly have to buy? Why do we constantly have to keep up with the Joneses? It's hard to say. But when we think of our physical media collections, we know, we feel it in our heart that we're making the right choice. Or are we? It's hard to say what the right choice is. It's hard to, it's hard to choose the way forward. It's such a dilemma when you have so much, yet so little. You have so much in your back catalogue, but so little in your life. What do we do to keep up with each other? We buy, we consume, we do everything we can. But this Halloween, we're going to do it differently. I don't know if you can see me, the lights are off. But this is kind of a silly thing for Halloween. Look, I've even got the world title right here. Ric Flair's world title. Or actually the WWE version. Batista's world title, The Undertaker's, Triple H's. I got spit the water with Triple H. Whew. Don't know. This video is kind of stupid. I don't know. I might just turn on the lights. So yeah, this is kind of the outfit I came up with. The idea behind this was I don't know, Taylor Swift wearing a Bray Wyatt shirt or something like that, trying to do the Bray Wyatt hair, kind of. But I didn't have the Bray Wyatt mask. I don't know. I was just bored, and I just said, you know what? It's Halloween, and we should do something for Halloween, a Halloween special, if you will. And now that the non-fans have all clicked off this video saying, what the hell is this? I'm clicking off. Now we've got the real fans who actually watch every video, who actually stick to the end. Which is actually what I wanted for this video. So I'm not using the lights. I'm not using any of that. We're going to do something fun for Halloween. We're going to do something that I haven't thought of. And I've done it ages ago. But we're going to do it again. And we're going to do it proper. We're going to go into the collection over this side. And I'm going to show you every 4K horror movie I have. I'm going to show you every Blu-ray horror movie I have. And then I think I've kind of half been categorizing DVD horror. So I don't know if that's actually a category yet. But I'll see what's there and we might have a quick look. But come over here. We're going to have a quick look, guys. So I'm going to take you into hand. Let me, if I can get that off my tripod, it is a bit difficult. Yeah, I only did that first part to really freak out the fans who were just like, what the hell is this? But they're going to miss out on the horror movie tour. And that's kind of the idea. This is for the most loyal fans who stick around for everything. So yeah, I've got kind of, I mean, I've got Ray Harryhausen stuff up there. But this is what's in it right now. I mean, I've got Amityville, Babadook, yeah. You know, a couple of things here. You can see the titles. I'm not going to go through and read every one because I don't want to be here for 25 hours trying to read every horror movie. Uh, this one's the Italian release. So I've got the one of the dead down here as well, the box set. And I've got Night of the Living Dead there because the box set fit up there more conveniently. So... If you're wondering, that's why. Um, yeah, so there's some more 4Ks. Obviously, there are a few in there that you can still see they're sealed. Um, obviously, I am still making my way through the collection. Uh, a collector is always looking for stuff. But yeah, look at all this. Look at this down here. I mean, I didn't really go much on old. I don't know why I keep that in my collection. But it is a nice little addition. Um, down here, we have Poltergeist. Possession. I haven't watched Possession. I just have that in my collection for some reason. Um, and then we have down here, Scream, the Scream series. Although, it, 
it really annoys me because I've got the other two Scream down here. So Scream 6, Scream 5, or the remake of Scream, you should say. Then we have 1, 2, and 3, but I'm missing Scream 4. Why don't I just put out Scream 4 on 4K so I can buy the thing and complete the collection? And I've got Hannibal down here because I put it with Silence of the Lamb, so I put Hannibal, Red Dragon, categorize them that way so they're all together. Uh, the Universal Monsters, I've got that down there. And then, um, yeah, just some TV shows. And I've also got um, some covers I made for Nightmare on Elm Street when I was... This is from my original collection, but I also, like, when I got to get them out of the um, the share cases, like, I tried to recreate the VHS versions. So, yeah, I think I came pretty close, but it wasn't anything great. I found a high-res image from the actual movie and tried to make it seem like VHS. And I kind of did that for all of them, but, yeah. So I'll put them back down there. So you've seen all the 4K horror movies now. Let's go down to this section. Now, obviously, I just got a Hulk Hogan bunch of books down there in front of it. But let's do a quick little skim along, because I don't want to sit here and read for each one of them. This is more like a uh, Halloween special, I'll call this. So we'll just go through real quick. You can obviously freeze frame this and have a look what you want to look at. Obviously, any questions in the comments, if you want to know a bit more about something, I can come in and have a look at it and more in detail. And then we just come over here. We just keep going. Keep rolling, rolling, rolling. Actually, I've upgraded that one to the... Um, the 4K recently, that really shouldn't be in there. I'll take that one out because I've obviously upgraded. Um, let's have a look at the end. I've got plenty of the apes in that collection. And then the ring over there, and some around here, it just comes, curls around. I haven't seen Terrifier, so I really should. And yeah, so that's the collection right there, the horror movie collection. And there are things at the top, so I've got the ring collection, Ring U, and that from Japan, so that's the original collection. Obviously that is a, um, Arrow video. There's a, there are a bunch of stuff in here that I've categorized in drama as well, so I'm sure there's stuff in there that would probably be categorized as horror, but I've categorized it as drama because it's more in drama. Like Red Eye could be very easily put under horror, but I feel it's better under that. I've also got um, a couple of new editions here, Six Sense, Signs, Riddick, um, Chronicles of Riddick that is, Zodiac, Nightmare on Elm Street, Desperado, and Land of the Dead. And then we'll quickly have a look at uh, horror as there's a big truck outside my window. You can see all the junk down here I've been sorting through while I've been rearranging that over there. And that's a CD collection, guys. I've been talking about that CD collection for a while. I'm trying to do a CD at the end just so like they're all together, but it's a bit difficult, a bit more tedious. And I haven't categorized all my DVDs. I mean, I have to go through all that. But, you know, um, here's the little section of things I've actually categorized right now. Nothing perfect, but, you know better than it was. Now let's go back onto the tripod because I want to talk to you guys because you guys have stuck around through that silly little opening monologue because you're the most loyal fans to this channel and will watch everything I, every little bit of thing I do. So here we go. We'll go back on the tripod. We'll get the Ric Flair world title. Do I want to dress up like Taylor Swift wig again? We'll just put on the glasses because they don't have any reflection. And so yeah, you know, it's kind of an interesting one and I'm sure that's hitting the mic. But it's kind of an interesting one, Halloween. In Australia, we've only really started celebrating it the past decade. Like, before that, we didn't really acknowledge Halloween. I mean, we knew it was an American holiday, but we didn't really get into it. So it's cool to see it catching on in Australia. And these glasses are really annoying, so I'm going to take them off. But, yeah, I'm wearing the Bray Wyatt shirt for a reason. Obviously, Bray Wyatt was a world champion, so we'll put that around the waist. Obviously, it can't go around my waist. I'm too big. <laughs> We'll go around the shoulder. He had a, he had his own world title anyways. But you understand what I'm saying? Like, how great is it that Australian is, Australia is starting to really get into it? Now, obviously, I made my top, uh, I believe, five horror movies. There are a lot of movies in there that people said, oh, well, you know, you should include this movie or that movie or whatever. But there are some horror movies in Australia, like Babadook's obviously one of them. Um, what's another Australian movie here? Um, Wolf Creek. Jeez. I didn't even count Wolf Creek. Now the first one, Wolf. I'm not gonna. Let me put down the world title. We're gonna we're gonna put down the world title. Now obviously this is another one I didn't show in that collection when I just done the skim through. Wolf Creek one and two. Now obviously I'm not the biggest fan of number two. I mean think it was a bit gore, not too gore, but like torture. You know the other word for it. I can't say it on here because it'll get flagged. But Wolf Creek the first one is very resembling of what Ivan Milat, a convicted criminal who's since passed away would have did to his victims so it is actually 
based on a real life story, the character design, but it's not an actual story. So th there is no John Jarrett running around the desert, you know, maybe, we don't know. I actually passed Ivan Lat once. Cool story, but I'm sure it's not a cool story for everyone, but a lot of people know that um, my career choice is a, um, I'm a ex-film camo, so I used, or not film camo, I have done stuff with film, like actual film, like the film industry. I've worked on Last Cab of Darwin and on Indian. They were a bit more when I was a trainee, like really coming up in the industry and I was like, oh, I'll be the runner and I'll do a bit of everything. Trained the dog on Last Cab of Darwin. That was a cool one. Uh, I believe his name was Badger. Really cool dog. Um, yeah, and the dog, cool little stories behind the scene I can't really go into, but then obviously I did a few things in between and then I ended up going to another company and I don't know if I can actually mention the name because I don't want people, I mean, people have Googled me and whatever, I don't care, but yeah, I was once filming this thing for um, news and it was, um, it was Ivan Lat. he was coming back from uh, the hospital, he was getting, this was when he had uh, cancer diagnosis, he was getting treatment at, I believe, St. Vincent's or somewhere in Sydney and uh, I believe a Channel 9 uh, journo almost got hit because she was trying to stand right in front of the car as it was speeding along. They were like, we need to get inside the jail as fast as possible because they knew the media scrum was there. And a media scrum is where people all get together and really like, um, you know, try to get what they can. Like they're all in the, like the press conferences. You see people walk out of courthouses. You see a media scrum out the front trying to get a, a quote. So they were all standing around trying to get that one shot of Ivan Milat. The 9 Journal nearly got hit. I believe it was Channel 9 Journal. It might have been Channel 7. I'm not 100% sure. Don't quote me on that. But I know there was a Jenna who was very close and someone, I believe maybe the one the cameras pulled her back, like get out of the way because they're not stopping. But um, yeah, I briefly saw Ivan Milat. Briefly, very briefly, like a glimpse, not even a real thing. I could just see the, like, the arms through the back window. And that's the closest I've ever come to Ivan Milat, like the real life person, which is, yeah, something that is an interesting one. And I don't know how to feel about it, but obviously, you know, I've met Chris Benoit in the past. So all my moral things about that is like, okay, well, you know, I don't, I mean, I have a high tolerance towards stuff like that, but also like seeing someone who's convicted of such a crime, like what he's convict, what he was convicted of, it was, um, you know, you kind of feel the energy through the window and some, you know, he f it felt a bit off, like obviously, but at that time you're just a camera, you're just trying to get the shot, you know, you're just like, okay, got to get the shot, get Ivan, you know, but I could, I could feel it, you know, I could feel the energy, but yeah, anyways, Wolf Creek is a great one, great Australian movie, obviously, um, Waking Fright's another good one, I think that's more thriller though, but Waking Fright's another great movie, um, it's a bit more dra a bit more thriller, but it's a dark psychological thriller, so really good movie. Um, yeah, check it out if you haven't. And yeah, this was meant to be a little horror, like Halloween video, and I've turned it into a longer video for some reason. Anyway, guys, let me know what you thought about this silly little skit, and then, you know, the tour of the horror sections of my collection. I didn't expect to do the tour of the horror movie sections. I thought I was going to do the whole video of me just standing with my back to the thing saying, now this and that, and look how great I am, and whatever. We can turn it, we can end it like this though. I think this will be a nice one. You could probably watch that video over there, by the way, if you wanted to. I mean, there's just that video there. I'm sure I'm going to put something over there. Wouldn't it be ironic if I put the video on the other side though? Wouldn't that be hilarious if I just covered my head with the video so you can't miss it? <laughs> I might actually do that. That would be hilarious for Halloween. That would be actually a very funny way to end the video. We'll see what I decide when I do the edit. I don't know. Let me know what you think, guys, and I will catch you in the next one. Halloween special. Let's put on the glasses. Let's confuse people in the thumbnail. We're going to do the thumbnails before I end this video. So, yeah. Halloween special. <laughs> and people are going to be so confused by that.